Welcome to the session on Problems and Properties of Steam presented by myself, Ranjit P.K., Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Global Academy of Technology. If you recall the earlier slides or the lectures, you would notice this temperature enthalpy profile which has listed the enthalpy uh, denotions for various regions. In the liquid region, the enthalpy denoted by HF that is the sensible heat gain. In the liquid plus vapor region, HFG being the latent heat and in the superheated region, the H being denoted in the form of a formula C superheat C CPS into T sup minus Ts that is specific heat into the temperature difference. This forms the crux for, for solving the numericals on the steam properties. The formulas listed are as below. Hg is the total enthalpy content. For the dry steam, it is Hf plus Hfg. Whereas for the wet steam, you would notice the formula changes to Hf plus X into Hfg, where X being the dryness fraction. In case of a dry steam, the value of X is taken as 1. Hence, you don't see the X in the formula here. For the superheated steam, the formula is Hg plus Cps into difference in temperatures where Cps is the uh, specific heat of the steam usually taken as 2.25 kJ per kg Kelvin and T soup being the superheated steam temperature, Ts being the saturation temperature. These are the formulas for the enthalpy which we are using. The numericals would involve uh, the calculation of total enthalpy for the different cases of steam that is dry steam, wet steam and the superheated steam. Further, we are also required to calculate the specific volume Vf of saturated water then specific volume of dry steam denoted as Vg where it is calculated as x into Vg that is x being the dryness fraction. In case of specific volume of superheated steam, the formula is written as Vsup is equal to Vg into Tsup by Ts. Remember the temperatures of the superheat here and the saturation temperature should be in Kelvin in this step. Now or to solve numericals, we make use of steam tables. The previously mentioned formulas uh, are actually the properties of steam that is enthalpy, volume, entropy, they vary with the change in the pressure and temperature and it is quite cumbersome to calculate each time these properties and its values. Hence what is done is they are experimentally already determined and presented in the form of tables showing the value of each property with respect to either temperature or pressure. And these tables are called steam tables. The values of saturated steam and the superheated steam are given separately. In case the given value falls between any two set of values, the pressure may be calculated by interpolation and the properties could also be found by the same interpolation method. A typical uh, steam tables on pressure basis would look something like this. It will have the set of values on pressure in terms of bar, the saturation temperature, the specific enthalpy H for water, evaporation and steam, HF, HFG and HG and similarly the set of entropy values S, F, SFG, SG and the specific volume in terms of meter cube per kg. And the table would look something like this. For each pressure, the individual values are given. On the temperature basis, the table is very similar except for the first value being the saturation temperature and the pressure. The rest set of table and its values are the same. And it would look something like this the temperature values, the saturation temperature, the pressure values and the enthalpy set, the entropy set and the specific volume set. 
it is important to notice here uh, in either temperature basis or the pressure basis the uh, enthalpy values of that of evaporation hfg is always equal to hg hf plus hfg for example you take the saturation temperature that is uh, uh, 5 sorry the saturation temperature at 5 degree celsius 2510 plus 21 is equal to 2489 this holds true for any set of values so which means if in the numerical we have to find the uh, enthalpy of the dry steel you can in fact directly write this hfg values i repeat in case of dry steam enthalpy to be found out this evaporation enthalpy values can be directly written as answers before we start solving the numericals few important points which we need to consider in all the numericals the properties are actually calculated on unit basis that is per kg that is kilojoules per kg for enthalpy and kilojoules per kg kelvin for entropy suppose in the numerical the mass of the steam is given the uh, final enthalpy could be mul uh, found by multiplying the mass of the steam and the units become kilojoules and kilojoules per kg respectively suppose the mass of the steam is 2 kg the enthalpy in from the table is read as 2300 then the final enthalpy becomes 2300 into 2 that is 4600 kilojoules and entropy if it is read as 5 kilojoules per kg kelvin the final entropy becomes 5 into 2 10 kilojoules per kg kelvin if they have not given the mass of the steam it is understood that we are calculating the properties on the units basis that is kilojoules per kg and kilojoule per kg kelvin Further, the units of pressure in steam table is always in bar. Sometimes the numericals provide the pressure in other units than bar. It could be in megapascal, kilopascal, newton per meter square, etc. The interconversion should be thoroughly known. Uh, 1 megapascal is 10 bar, 1 newton per meter square is 10 power minus 5 bar. So, if they give the units in megapascal, you need to convert it into bar and then find the values at this uh, pressure unit being bar. Also, in the examination, the steam properties may be directly given in the question paper or you need to use the data handbook which is typically given in the college. The data handbook looks like this. This is basically used in the higher semesters of mechanical engineering. The first set of values has the uh, the first set of values in the data handbook is of the steam tables uh, both on pressure basis and in the temperature basis. For the internal assessment, you need to bring your own sheet. The sheet will be circulated uh, uh, by the faculty, or you can take buy this book and use it. And the sheet or the book which you need which you bring for the test should be without any marking or the underlining that is any highlighting of the pressure and temperature values should be avoided. Now let us look at the numerical sample 1. The question reads as find the enthalpy of 1 kg of steam at 10 bar absolute when the steam is dry saturated 20% wet superheated to 220 degrees Celsius. Assume the specific heat of superheated steam as 2.25 and take the following data from the steam uh, following data for the steam at 10 bar. We are uh, required to calculate the enthalpy of 1 kg of steam at the pressure of 10 bar for these three different cases dry saturated, wet, superheated to 220 degrees Celsius. Fortunately, in the numerical itself, the table lists the properties of the enthalpies we need not look at the steam tables separately and also the specific heat of the steam is given remember as i said earlier in case they don't give this the value is assumed as 2.25 kilojoules per kg kelvin let us see how to solve this the enthalpy of dry saturated steam as i said 
it could be directly read from the steam tables that is here 2792 as i've already told the hg from the steam tables is for the sat dry saturated steam meaning x is 1 so 2030 plus 762 becomes 2792 which is written here now for the second case we were supposed to find the enthalpy for 20 percent wet in this case when the steam is 20 percent wet it implies it is 80 percent dry hence x becomes 0.8 so the hf hfg values are picked from this steam tables here the x being 0.8 we are calculating the enthalpy as 2386 kilojoules per kg for the third case the enthalpy at superheated condition to 220 degrees celsius the formula is hg plus cps into t soup minus ts hg directly from this here cps the values are substituted and the h superheated enthalpy is found as 2882 in this case when the temperature is being written here in case the temperature is in terms of a difference you need not convert to kelvin it could be written either in degree celsius or kelvin whereas in the case of the temperatures being written in the terms of ratio that is in case t soup by ts then it needs to be in kelvin so this is how we solve the numerical for this numerical this set being the solution the examination marks carries suppose they don't give the table here the marks is carried for writing down the values reading the values from the steam tables then writing calculation with the substitution and the final answer hope you are all clear with this numerical we will move on to the next numerical find the volume and enthalpy of 2 kgs of steam at 0.8 megapascal when the dryness fraction is 0.9 in the second case when the steam is superheated to the temperature of 300 degrees celsius assume the specific heat of superheated steam as 2.25 kilojoules per kg now in this numerical you need to find the volume that is nothing but the specific volume and enthalpy of 2 kgs in the previous numerical it was per unit basis only 1 kg but here it is 2 kgs and also the steam pressure is at 0.8 megapascal you will notice the difference here in the previous numerical the unit was in bar here it is in megapascal so for both of these cases when the dryness fraction is 0.9 and when the steam is superheated to 300 degrees celsius we need to find the volume and enthalpy let us see how to solve this we will first solve the enthalpy now when the steam is wet m being 2 kg x is 0.9 how did we get this x as 0.9 they have already given in the question itself the dryness fraction is 0.9 so 2 kg is 0.9 the 0.8 megapascal given here is converted to bar that is 8 bar from the steam tables at 8 bar these values are written down all the values are directly available it is recommended when you write the values from the steam tables you also write down the values and its units compulsorily generally we see the students skip the units they just write the numbers it is not sufficient it is better always to write the numbers with its units now for the first case the specific volume is calculated as x into vg x is 0.9 vg from the steam tables is taken as 0.2403 so it is 0 0.2163 0 0.2403 into 0 0.9 being 0 0.2163 meter cube per kg Remember the units of specific volume is meter cube per kg. And the volume of wet steam, this is for the volume, the specific volume is what we have calculated for 1 kg. But the numerical asks us to calculate the specific volume and enthalpy for 2 kgs. So 0 0.2163 into 2 is 0 0.4325 meter cube. We have not written here kg, meter cube per kg because we are multiplying it by 2 kgs. Next, the enthalpy for the first case, 
HF is given by H enthalpy, wet enthalpy is equal to HF plus X into HFG. So 720.94 plus 0.9 into 2046. X is already given. The values of HF and HFG are found from the steam tables. And the final enthalpy is 2562.84 kilojoules per kg. So the final enthalpy for 2 kgs of steam becomes 5125.68 kilojoules. So in this first case, we have for the first case we have solved the specific volume and the enthalpy. Now let us look at the second case. When the steam becomes superheated, the formula is Vg into T sup by Ts. So Vg 0.2403 T superheated by T saturation temperature. The superheated temperature is given here. The saturation temperature is found from the steam tables and note that these two temperatures are converted to Kelvin. It is must and should whenever you are taking the ratio you need to convert it into Kelvin. So superheated volume being 0 0.3108 meter cube per kg for 2 kgs of steam it is 0 0.6216 meter cube. Similarly the enthalpy H superheated enthalpy is equal to Hg plus Cps into T sup by minus Ts. The Hg Cps values T sup Ts values substituted we get the enthalpy as 3059.077 077 kilojoules per kg for 2 kgs it becomes 6118.15 kilojoules this is the way to solve the numericals of any given uh, uh, any given numericals on the steam properties always first write uh, the un uh, values from the steam tables before that you need to convert ensure that the units of pressure is in bar then write down all the values of these from the steam tables and then start solving. Also it is important that you go through the formulas first. You need to thoroughly remember the formulas of enthalpy sets for various cases and in a specific volume for these cases. In case the uh, entropy needs to be found the formula remains the same except the H is replaced as S. Instead of H, we write it as S, but the rest all method remains the same of calculation.